Hello and welcome back. So I'm now going to show you how to create an advert for Instagram, but using Facebook ad manager. Okay. So we're going to start by going to business.instagram.com. Okay. So that's this, the URL just here. So paste that in or type that into Google or whatever you want to do to find this website is business.instagram.com. Okay. So yep, make sure you're there. And once you're there, this is what you'll see. So I've just put this in full screen so you can see it a lot better. So as you can see, there's getting started, there's advertising, there's success stories, there's inspiration, there's blog, and then there's partners. Okay. So we're going to click on advertising. So let's click that. Let it load up the new page. And here we go. So this is Instagram business advertising. So this is the home of the Instagram business website for advertising. Okay. So we have all these different things, but we're going to advertising. So we've gone on this on a different video. I've been showing you all the different types of Instagram ad, but in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create an Instagram ad using the Facebook ad manager. So we're going to be creating a photo advert, as you can see this one just here. So what we're going to do is just click create your own. So click that and it's going to open up the Facebook adverts page. Okay. So here we go. This is the Facebook advert manager. You can find this by going to facebook.com and then heading over to the advert manager or just by going to the Instagram business website and clicking on the link that I've just shown you as it's a lot easier anyway by doing that. So yeah, here we are. As you can see, we've got traffic ticked. This is to bring traffic to either your website or your Instagram page. So let's keep that clicked there. Keep that ticked nicely. And then we've got, you can tick create split test, but we're not going to. As you can see, that's a new feature at the moment. So it's not going to be great, but it's just being tested out to see if people like it. I am not going to because I don't want to. Okay. I'm just showing you a simple way to create an advert on Instagram using the Facebook ad manager. Okay. So we're going to title this Instagram course. There we go. And then let's click continue. Okay. So here we are. Traffic. Choose where you want to drive traffic. You can enter a destination such as a URL later. So we're going to leave this selected as website or messenger. Okay. So we don't want to select app. We just want to select website or messenger as we're going to put in our website so that people can find our website, blackbooktraining.co.uk. So then we have offer, leave that as off as what we're doing is not an offer. We're just promoting a post. So let's keep going down and then we have audience. So you can either use a saved audience or create a new one. We're going to create a new audience as if this is your first advert, you will have not created an audience before. So let's just start by going here and creating the new audience. So we're going to ignore this first line here, custom audiences, and we're going to go straight to locations. So everyone in this location. So we've got United Kingdom and then we're going to put India and select that. And then we're going to put United States. Oh, and Let's see if that appears. There we go. United States. Awesome. So we've got our three countries here, India, United Kingdom, United States. You can add more, but we're just going to keep it simple and just keep these three selected. Okay. So now we're going to scroll down and tick age. We can have age 17 to let's say 45. Okay. All right. So we teach mostly tech stuff and people older than 45 aren't going to be interested in Instagram marketing or SEO unless they're well, a small business owner or something that I suppose really. So yeah, let's just leave it at 17 to 45. It can be different for you depending on what you are trying to advertise, of course. So then we want gender, either male, female or both. Let's keep it as both languages. Let's just put English and then tick all English, United States or English, UK. Doesn't matter. Let's click both. Awesome. And then we've got detailed targeting. Okay. So for this, it all depends on what you are advertising. So this is very important to see who you actually want to advertise to. This is one of the most important things when you are creating your advert. So put a lot of effort and uh, thought into this, but I'm just going to quickly get this done just because I'm making a video on it and I'm just going through it quickly. So you know how to do it. Okay. So demographics, interests, or behaviors, we can either click suggestions like this, and it will suggest all these different things to me. So we've got Udemy, digital marketing, all these different things, as you can see, or we can put browse, and we can browse through all these different categories. So we've got demographics, interests, behaviors, and more categories. But what we're just going to do is just go to interests and just take a few of these. Okay. So digital marketing can be our first one. And then we've got, let's have a look. We can have search engine optimization and social media. Let's have a look what else there is. Small business, marketing strategy, marketing, 
search engine marketing, and one more, online advertising. Okay, let's also add social media marketing, just one more. That might be too many actually, that's quite a lot, but yeah. You just get the, you get the point of it, okay? You can add many different things into here, but we're just gonna do this as an example for you, okay? And then we have expand interest when it may increase link clicks at a lower cost per link click. So we're gonna actually tick that, okay? So let's tick that now. And then we've got connections, add a connection type. We're just going to ignore this as it's not very important to us. And then we're going to click save this audience. And then we're going to name it Instagram marketing course, okay? Like so. And then we are, so this is our exact audience, okay? So now let's click save. Awesome, so we've made our audience just here. And we are now going to create our placements, okay? So we have automatic placements, as you can see, recommended, or you can edit placements. We're going to edit it right now, and we are going to make sure Facebook is all unticked, like so, so nothing's on Facebook. And then we are going to have audience network, all unticked, messenger, unticked, and Instagram is what's going to be ticked. So we're just going to have feed clicked, as we don't want to click stories, as that will make it a lot more expensive, okay? So let's just have feed, and now let's close that. So all we have is an Instagram feed, okay? We don't have any audience network. Let's make sure that's unticked as well. Awesome, so all we have is an Instagram feed advert. So that is ticked, fantastic. There we go. So now we have made it so that it will only appear in Instagram feeds. You can also make sure you tick stories if you want it to appear in Instagram stories, but just make sure you know that that will cost more for you, okay? So that's that. We're now gonna scroll down to our daily budget and set that as 15 pounds a day or $20-ish depends what the currency exchange rate is at the date of when you're watching this but at the moment it's about 15 pounds to 20 dollars ish ish okay i don't i'm not an exact currency converter but you know what i mean so yeah we're gonna put 15 pounds 20 dollars ish okay so that's our daily budget or we could do that as our lifetime budget and then have it so that it's over a certain amount of days we're just gonna have it as a daily budget of 15 pounds and then we can either have it so that the advert has a start and end date or it can just run continuously starting today, okay? So we're just gonna have it set continuously starting today. So it will spend no more than 105 pounds a week, but we can pause this advert whenever we want, okay? So just make sure you note that we, even if you have it continuously starting today, you can click pause in the Facebook ad manager to stop the advert from running, okay? Awesome. So now we have link clicks or landing page views or impressions or daily unique reach. We're just gonna leave this here as link clicks, so let's click that there. And then we have bid amount, automatic or manual, leave that as automatic. Advert scheduling, leave that as blank, as obviously we've got this advert running continuously starting today, so there is no scheduling. Of course, we've not set a start and end date, so yep, that's all in blank. And then we have delivery type standard, as that is all that's there. More options, you can have accelerated to show your adverts as quick as possible, but that can sometimes cost more as well. So let's leave that as standard. And then that's everything, so let's click continue. Okay, so here we go. This is our Facebook page. You make sure you have the Facebook page selected, which is connected to your Instagram account. And then we have our Instagram account where you want to actually advertise to. So that's all we have there. Okay, so now we're going to select single image as we're just going to be doing a single image advert. And then you can tick full screen experience, but we don't want to, so we're gonna skip past that. And then images, we're just going to browse the library and then click on the image for this course. So let's click that and click done. And then you can add up to six images and it will create six separate adverts as this is a single image advert, but we're not gonna do that, we're just gonna do one. And then we're going to paste in the destination, which is blackbricktraining.co.uk. And then you can preview that if you want to, but you don't have to, just don't worry about that. And then messenger setup, don't tick that, just leave that blank. And then we have text. For this text, we're going to be using the title of this course. I'm just gonna copy and paste that in there right now, like so. And then that's that. I might actually add a full stop to that too. Nice, and then we have the call to action, which is what the button will say. So we're going to go straight down to shop now, but there's loads of different options for you to click. We're just gonna to go to shop now, like so. And then we have the display link. We're just gonna skip past that. URL parameters, we're gonna skip that. Tracking, pixel tracking, skip both of them. And we're going to click review. And then this will just show us everything we have done, okay? So we have the campaign the campaign title, the campaign objective, the advert set, that'll be what it's called as we have the different countries we've set it to and the age group. And then we have the locations down here, targeting, placement, budget, optimized for link clicks, bid is automatic, 
pay for impression and that's that i'm just going to click less just so it doesn't show all of that and then we have the actual advert we're going to be creating a new advert of course so it's going to once again just title this the name of the course like so and then we have little bits of information like the headline advert name headline text and then the image so that is everything we can either save it to a draft and then publish it later or click confirm right now so we're going to click confirm now like so click confirm and this will be sent off for a review and then once they've accepted it it will be live on instagram and people will be seeing it and they'll be seeing your advert so here we go your advert your items have been confirmed you'll receive a notification once your adverts have been reviewed and accepted of course as soon as they've been approved they'll be on instagram and people will be seeing them so that is that and then we can just click continue and we'll go back to our advert manager so that is awesome that's all you have to do so that's that thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you had a great time and i hope you learned a lot i will see you in the next one goodbye